this recording is over finding the circumference and area of a circle. The circumference of a circle is the distance around the outside of the circle. And we have two formulas to find that. If we only know our diameter, we can use the formula circumference equals pi times diameter. But if we only know our radius, we can use the formula circumference equals 2 times pi times the radius because 2 times the radius equals the diameter. To find the area of a circle, we're going to use the formula area equals pi times the radius squared. And remember, on area, your answer is always units squared. Let's find the circumference and area of a circle with a radius of uh, 9 centimeters. So, since we've given the radius, we're going to use the formula circumference equals 2 times pi times the radius. We're going to replace the radius with 9 and we're going to get that our circumference is 18 pi. If your homework asks you to answer in terms of pi, this is what you would type, 18 pi. If it asks for a decimal, you are going to round to however many places it asks you to. I rounded it to two decimal places and I get that the circumference is approximately 56.5 55 centimeters. Now we are going to find the area of the circle with a radius of 9 centimeters. Remember area is pi times radius squared. So I'm going to replace the r with 9 and I'm going to take pi times 9 squared and get that the area is 81 pi centimeters squared. Again, if they are asking you to answer in terms of pi, you would write 81 pi. If they want you to answer as a decimal equivalent, you would say the area is approximately 254.47 centimeters squared. Remember, area is always units squared. Now, the dimensions of a car tire, tire are shown at the right. <coughs> Excuse me. To the nearest foot, how far does the tire travel when it makes 15 revolutions? Well, a revolution of a tire is the circumference. So if I need to find the circumference and then multiply it by 15. So if I add up all of these dimensions that they have given me from one edge of the tire to the other, I will have the diameter, and that equals 26 inches. So I'm going to use the formula circumference equals pi times diameter, since I have the diameter. And then I'm going to multiply by 15 because I have 15 revolutions. So I'm going to say pi times 26 times 15, I get 390 pi inches. Or I could convert that to um, uh, a decimal equivalent. But I'm going to leave it as 390 pi because they have asked us in the problem to find to the nearest foot. So I've got to take these inches and convert them to feet. And going from inches to feet, you're going to divide by 12. So I'm going to divide that in my calculator and I'm going to get that it is 32 and a half pi feet. I could put this as a decimal equivalent and it's about 102.1 feet. Now, on the next example, it says find the area of the stopwatch given the radius of two and a half centimeters. I'm going to use the formula area equals pi r squared and replace the r with two and a half. When I put this in my calculator, I get two point, or I mean, sorry, six point two five pi centimeters squared. Or I can convert it to a decimal and say 19. 0.63 centimeters squared. Find the diameter of the CD with an area of 113.1 centimeters squared. Now notice in this one, they have given us the area and they want us to find the diameter. I can still use the area formula to do this. I'm going to use the area formula, solve for radius, and then multiply by 2. So in place of the A, I'm going to put my 113.1 equals 
pi times radius squared. Now I need to get the r by itself, so first I'm going to get rid of my pi by dividing both sides by pi, and that's going to give me a decimal 36.0008 and then a run on decimal. I think this is such a small, eight thousandths is so small that I can safely round this to 36, a whole number. So 36 equals my radius squared. To get rid of my square, I take the square root of both sides, and I get that my radius for this CD is 6 centimeters, but I have to multiply that by 2 because they want the diameter. So I'm getting that 2 times 6 is 12, therefore my diameter is approximately 12 centimeters. All right, I think you may have what you need to um, do your homework.